Welcome back everyone to the Lost Aqualand and welcome back to our franchise mode today with the brand new DLC included in this franchise mode and we're going to do a couple of things but you will see that I have already prepared a couple of things and that is a floating L here in the mid air. This is something I didn't want to have here. There you go. Now the L is where it does belong. Um, I did prepare a couple of things. I'll gonna, I'm gonna talk you through these things um, but first of all let's move uh, to what we've built last time and that is our wonderful a little um yeah, uh, aquarium, I should say. And you can see I used the grass uh, pattern here now as a, a path through here. I quite like that one, to be honest. Um, and I also wanted to get an axolotl, but the problem is I really didn't find one quite yet. So let's have a look if there's another one on the list now. No, there isn't quite yet. That's a pity. So we're gonna have to check this out later. Um, also, thanks for the suggestions last time. So we are going to squeeze a toilet in the back here because we do have a little bit of an issue with uh, toilet uh, facilities just in general but um, other than that you know what we can actually do this right away I'm gonna make this look good later on uh, this is by the way a pattern you might have noticed with this park um, there are a couple of things I need to do later on I, I did actually quite a few things already off screen so um, it's not like I don't do anything oh, you know what this time around we are just going to do exactly this concrete there you go, and then, yeah, this is basically what we need. Uh, wait, you know what, we're just gonna do it that way, and don't worry, uh, I've got a plan, okay? I've got a, I've got a, I've got a, a very good plan. Let's uh, resize the grid, there you go, there you go, and I'm just gonna raise this roof piece a little, so that this is kind of a little extens uh, extension over here, and then we go to, oops, the doors just gonna select the doorway here just disable all the blueprints and then we're just going to make like a double door oops I have the random rotation still activated so this is something we don't really need um, oh yeah actually you know what we're just gonna take two doors two doors down um, is that like left and right yes okay let me just quickly check so that is that and this is this there you go and then let's just do the same thing over here. So that's that mostly. I'm just going to, oh, wait, I, I didn't think that this other one was, okay, well, whatever. I'm just gonna bring it that way. And then uh, we should type in restroom. Okay, that's not how it works. How about toilet? Oh, there you go, there you go. I think there's now a new smaller sign. Uh, yeah, uh, it's smaller, but it's far away from being small. Okay, so that still doesn't work. Um, I'm just going to try to blend this in with the gray tone of the wall. Something like that and white, off-white. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a toilet in the background. So, you know, whatever. It's there, it's fine, it's good. Um, also, we need to put a certain education thing throughout the park. But first of all, let's talk about the flamingo habitat, shall we? Because that is going to be this one. You can see there's a new tiny gate um, is going to be used over here. Also, pretty nice how we use these things here in the past. Now we can also abuse this thing if we want to, uh, and I want to. Uh, but first of all, let's see if we can find a flamingo. I honestly have no idea if I do have a flamingo already in my books. Oh, I do. Look at that. This is pretty good. So these are two juvenile uh, ones, but they're, I think they're both from the same. Oh no, they're not. That's that's good. They're both not from the same zoo. So that's fine. Um, quite a bit of a different age, but that's totally fine. Um, and then we just reset the filter and we say flamingo over here as well. Maybe see if we can get, oh look at that. Well, I'm just not paying 1,500 credits for that one. I'm sorry, but that's definitely not going to happen. Um, yeah, that one is fine. No, oh my god, look at how expensive they are. Okay, I, that is a good one. I'm just gonna get these two as well. Um, so, let me just grab those two as well. Bring them into their habitat. And let me just also quickly see that they can deliver those. And um, we still need to build a couple of fences here and there. Um, I'm not entirely sure how exactly it's gonna happen with uh, the you know, they, they will be pretty stressed out, so we need to put some walls here and there. Um, and we're also doing some vet research and everything else, just trying to 
cover most of the animals. You can see it's actually researching all the time. We still have quite a couple of animals that we need to research. Not sure why the red roofed lemur is actually. I think because it's in the, um, yeah, how's that thing called again? In the trade center. That's where it is. Now, there you go. Um, as a small flamingo so you will see now a huge amount of escape potentials but that's fine we're going to take care of that rather soon um, which is no big deal at all uh, so one thing I do really not like is that on this side but we are going to take care of that with the elephant grass I assume uh, so let me just quickly do that right away um, so we can reset all the filters and say elephant grass over here just gotta do this all the way like so and then just bring this all to an area here uh, in fact i'm just going to have a group out of these and then we are just going to do exactly this all over the place where we have the connection you know just like so and then this is all good this is all fine just going to do the same over here i really hope they can't fly over that but normally that is just fine. I'm just going to drag this all the way over here, kind of staying somewhat the same height. You know, yeah, we can also just have a little bit of an overlap. It's fine because we are going to make like a fence in here anyways, but I'm just going to make sure that they can't escape first of all. And if that is solved, this issue is solved, then we can move on and make the habitat look actually really nice, you know? That's what we do. That's that's that that's the task. Okay, now as this is done, let's just move that into the ground. Where's the middle thing? Oops, uh, so that everything is just barely under the ground. Okay, now let's hit play again and see if that works. Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. Do I? Oh no, that is actually pretty neat. It's only those two areas left here next to it, which. We're going to cover off with a wall. Um, let's type in wood. We are still researching the new uh, items. This is also why the next episode will be a backstage episode. Um, you know what? We're just going to go with normal fence piece. And I guess we're going to use this one, but in a different way. I, I wanted to use that in this way quite a while already. So I'm just going to do exactly this now. Uh, let's do it that way. And then just sink this piece a little bit into each other and just like so because we also need like a little bit of a stable or something which is going to be yeah something I'm just trying to do over here now I guess just like with a very tiny roof you know nothing nothing in particular that is going to be nuts or whatever big or crazy it's just going to be like a a little safe place for them can I just, yeah, thank you. Oh my goodness, me, nope. Yeah, that's that's good. Let's make one building out of it and then just rotate this a little, just like so. It's not going to be win any prizes in terms of how nice it looks or whatever, but you know, just so that we have a little bit of an entrance here and then we're just going to bring that over and just like, oops, just like so. And you know what, we're just going to Copy that over here as well. Let me just try to keep the same height somewhat. That is fine. So I'm just going to keep that semi open to this side. Good stuff. Corrugates, nice. We barely even need that small door then, but with it, you know, just it's fine, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to put the corrugated roof on top. There you go. Um, and just so that it just will fit. Okay, so. I'm just going to bring this here and here and I assume that this should just barely work. What is the vet doing there by the way? Is the vet just, just beaming to the top? What is that even? Uh, also, I guess we do actually need to move that a tiny bit to the front, which is totally fine then by me, you know, and then we can have the the back part also sink in a little bit more to the back. There you go. All good, all fine. Um, and hit play again. I think this is this is just this is just wonderful over here. I think it's just not high enough. Is it? Is I think that's the problem. It's basically the problem is that the roof and stuff. You know, we just have to bring that all a bit higher. There you go. 
that is what we can do, right? Does this work now? If that dude is coming in, or this dudette. <laughs> it's a female. There you go. Boom. Throw them in. Noise. Okay. So I think at this point, the flamingo should just run around and, uh, well, not be happy though, but uh, not be able to escape. Fine. Okay. So that is because of social group and space. Oh, I... I did I okay I didn't know that they need to swim that is uh, interesting by me but um okay well then I guess uh, we got to change this area right I thought it was a good idea to have it here but now well if you say so I'm gonna change my mind a little I'm gonna do this here there you go resume that one it's gonna be a nice filler over here but this is going to be interesting how we do this but okay um so let me just grab whatever the crap is uh, in here and whoop, no, that was the elephant grass is not going to be uh, touched touchy touchy touch there you go just going to delete all the yeah I put all the random pieces in because I thought you know I'm, I'm a clever boy I just prepare everything and then all of a sudden that's not a good idea oh whatever, whatever. yeah we are just going to do this there you go uh, there's a couple of grass pieces left. We can just quickly delete. I'm not sure if that's enough uh, swimmable area for them then, but we will see if that's enough. My god, I didn't know that they need that much swimmable area whatsoever. Okay, well, interesting stuff. Um, I'm just gonna dig a little hole here and then just kind of carve that out as much as I can. Bring this to a little bit of a smoother edge and then Ah, be able to have no water. I, I'm not sure how much water that is. Let me see if that's even remotely enough. Um, oh, it is. It is, it is, it is. It, the, the pond just works. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, in that case, though, I just want to make sure that this is all good and smooth. Just like that. I mean, it, it can be a pond. That's totally, totally fine. I'm just gonna make this all sand and then I'm gonna make the water go in. Hey, oh, is that less water though? Is that significantly less water? I'm not sure though. Let's let's have a little look. Um, it's just about right, okay? So now let's uh, paint a little bit more soil, which is which is good because we do need some soil around here as well. So just make it like this. Um, and the problem being is I will need to make some grass along this side as well because I think that just looks better if we have that. So there you go. It's still working? Still working. Fine. Awesome. So we, I mean, this is like a very neat little pond where they can have a good time in. Um, I didn't know that, but it's okay. Well, let's go into the uh, environment. Coverage is a little bit too high. <laughs> Maybe a little bit way too high. Um, Again, I did not know that they are really that much. Okay, well, let's see. 4%. Oh my god, these things make 4%. Why can I not get rid of them then? Like, I do want to get rid of those. Okay, so this one, this one. Uh, yeah, see, but the problem is Yorkshire grass. I mean, the, these pieces make... Oh my god, the elephant grass is the issue. Oh boy. Okay, so that's already 20%-ish. So we have to get rid of most of the grass. What a shame. What a shame, guys. Okay, we, we got to see how that works out because, ah, dang, it just looks so good. But there is no no way of doing this like an open habitat without, without the elephant grass. So, I mean, the only thing is I could push that further to the outside. So, But the piece is still in inside of the habitat, so that doesn't make a huge change anyhow. So, ah, dang it. See, this is why I sometimes just don't want these weird restrictions. So what does the flamingo care? It just doesn't. Uh, okay, well, I did not want to delete this thing, but okay, I mean, nope. Nope, nobody nope, 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 no, I just wanna get that grass, okay, whatever. Can I just, uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, now hit play again and see what the coverage says now. Um, yeah, it's still way too high. And it's also freaking stressed, right? Is it? Yeah, stress is being very high. Okay, um, now the problem is we've got so much in the habitat that I 
would need to delete even more. I just will do that now. Just in order to make sure... Nope. That is the wrong thing. Give me back my stones. I need my stones. Let them roll. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to delete all that stuff here. And we have to make it a lot less lush. Which, ah, which is such a shame. I thought that works, but okay. Okay, let's have a look if uh, that is any better now. Um, yeah, it's 38% and the overall happiness is uh, the welfare is shitty because of the social element. Um, so we got to take care of that first of all now, okay? So they need some shelter, so we're going to put down some rocks to make that all look a lot better and make them also, you know, just have a better time, I guess. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use these taiga rocks or taiga rocks. We're just going to bring here some... Some kind of walls, you know, just making sure that not everything is visible for them. Um, I quite like the idea of having some of these ones standing every now and then just in the middle, just adding to some, uh, you know, facades, I almost want to call them. It's not really a facade, obviously, but it's, it's you know, it's, it's kind of something to grant them a bit more privacy. And so just having these rocks over here makes already quite a huge difference, I guess. So just making sure that everything works. And I also have like this little element from from the past, you know, there's the little aqualand uh, thingy uh, where you can see that that was once the font and the, uh, the signage of this park. I quite like this little touch to have that in. Um, so there you go. Just a couple more rocks here and there, making sure that they do have some more privacy and also for the guests, you know, so that they do have to work for their money and just have a look where the animals are. Otherwise, that would be maybe also like a little bit too boring for them. Too easy. I don't know. Okay, I'm not sure if they can pass through here anyhow. So let's use that thinner piece and then give this a little bit of context as well with that one, I guess. Oh, like so. Okay, so I think I like that also with with the rocks around. I think that's, that's giving it also a bit of a nice context. This will remain kind of an open plaza. Um, I quite like the idea to have these rocks again. I like the formation quite a bit. So yeah, let's merge them together again. I'm just gonna have the same thing, just rotate it on this side and then just briefly merge into each other. I quite like that element, yes. I quite like it. Um, and now we're just going to make like a, a bigger wall. I remember that we had one of the coolest, there you go. This is one of the coolest walls we have in this park. I'm gonna reuse that because I like this wall quite a bit. So we're just going to use that one in here. Um, well, actually they do roam free in the middle, so why? Why would we do that? Let's put that one here. And then we are going to connect this. So that also makes double sense. So that is just going to root the people a bit more into this area there. I like the idea of having that. And then we are just going to give this over here also like a proper fencing. There you go. That makes a whole bunch of sense to me because it just helps, first of all, to uh, separate the areas, but also to make sure that they have a bit more privacy. Um, and then we will make some lower fences. You know what, I'm just gonna make the lower fence design real quick and then we can put that everywhere. So we are just going to start with a little lock. I'm not sure if I, yeah, I think this one fits the park quite well. That's nice. And now let's say metal. And I had that idea once. Let's see if that works. I, I think I want to do this. I think this will look good. So let me just see what happens if I do the, yeah, I, it, it might look good. It might look actually pretty good. Okay, so this is that. And now we have to make that one group, obviously. There you go. Uh, can I just go into the group, please? Thank you. And then I'm just gonna make this go down and that is double the height. There you go. And everything just goes a little bit lower. And now the idea would be to just have this as a fence design. I think I quite like that. I think I'm a fan of this design. I think it's okay. I think I can 
I can definitely go with this design. So just making sure that the fence is somewhere open uh, because we want to have our flamingos uh, path through every now and then, you know. Um, and also with this design, you can also alter the heights quite nicely, I guess. So that is pretty good. So they don't have to wait through everyone, but uh, just giving this a little bit of a context here might be pretty nice. There you go. So they hopefully can escape here or they can just come through the path if they want to, which is, which is great. I think that's, that's a good way of doing that. Okay, now let's just make one here and then we're just going to keep that open at this point. Yeah, just kind of into the kid over there <laughs> and then just behind that bench. There you go. It doesn't have to be like superbly fine. There you go. Just keeping that open again. Just making sure that they can uh, go through if they want to. You know, just like so. And then maybe three more over here. And I think I want to have a more solid wall or mural on the other side. So let me just go back in and, um, you know, what is that? Align to surface. No, please leave me. Leave me alone. I just want to have that piece and then sink that in where it's needed. There, there. There was another one in the front here, right? Yeah, there you go. There is one. Did I miss out on another one? No, I think I didn't. No, that's all fine. Now we got a bit of a fancy. Also, if you see some minor lags, I'm running one less um, piece of RAM. So my RAM is uh, about 25%-ish lower than usually and you do quite notice that here and there not it's not necessarily big because um ram is not the most important one in here but it's it is noticeable so yeah i do actually notice that um yeah, i think we're just gonna go with this wall let me just see i want to i think that color is good i think that color is is decent okay Again, I don't want to make this like superbly high, but I do want to separate these areas from each other. So we're going to do it that way. It's a bit of a shame that I can't use more foliage over here. Uh, I wish I could, but it just doesn't work. So there you go. This is that. It's quite open, quite nice. Uh, but we can use obviously a lot of stones. Let me just grab some of these over here. Um, yeah, let's start with the bigger ones and then just bring that in random rotation not all but just random rotation in general just getting a couple of little things here and there you know just to just to make sure that this all looks a bit nicer you know just just not so empty and boring i would say but you know normally you would just put a couple of plants in here and immediately it's gonna look better but so Oh, I have got an idea what we can do instead. Oh, that's a good one, though. That's a good one. I'm, I'm seeing the video is going places again in terms of time. But hey, that's a, that's a Rudy episode. That's why, you, that's why you tuned in in the first place, right? Who am I telling, uh, telling this? So that's just, just the normality. The norm. Is that normality? Is that even a word in English? <laughs> I just don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if it's, it's kind of a German-English-ish word. And again, that's, that's something you do expect from my videos, don't you? Uh, so, I did kind of these things now, but I have an idea and we can also check out a new function then. So, let's go to decal and we're going to use that one. And I think there's a new align to water. There you go. This is a new option which we are going to use now because align to water is exactly what we need. Um, and then we can use that as like a little bit of a, you know, kind of a water element. There's some some stuff growing here from the side. I think that what's gonna make, in German it's Entengrutze. I have no idea what that is in English. Uh, but it's like the stuff that is on, on the water ponds once uh, it's a little, it's not dirty, but it's basically in, in the summertime when it's getting warmer, you have that on the waters. It's pretty normal. It's not like that it's super dirty, but it's, it's kind of normal to have that. So yeah, that's that, I guess. Um, so yeah, I quite like this. I quite like how this uh, works with the weight. Is that still aligned to the water level? It's not, what is, it, what is going on here? Don't be that way, just leave me. I thought it was staying there, okay. It, it seems it doesn't right now, but okay. Uh, can we have something in the middle as well? I think we can. Look, that's that's totally fine by me. 
just having i like the fact that we can align to water now and also that gives the area a lot more context which i love quite to bits okay now these things are not really super useful here some smaller ones here and there just enlarging these things yeah there you go there you go i think that's fine and i'm also going to change the water transparency a little and then we can make the color just that ever so much more greenish there you go there you go I, yeah 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 yeah. i quite like that it's maybe not the most beautiful one from the entrance i'll give it that but um the entrance isn't isn't done anyhow so that's just like a little plaza we have i wish we could put some more trees and stuff in i i wonder if it makes more sense to put like the tree here just to give that area I just I want to copy that one, uh, <clears throat> but we are still having some issues with the flamingo anyway, so we should check if there is a chance. Okay, we still have way too much. What is what is so heavy on them? So we can't delete these things, but what is what is creating so much? It's still the elephant grass, right? Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's that's a problem. That's really a problem. Ah, whatever. I'm gonna keep it that way. As long as they're like somewhat happy, it's totally fine. So, habitat cleanliness disease uh, risk blah is still, my god, keeper requested. Let's call them all. Why not? Research center. Yes, give me new stuff. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, cool. We've done that. 26 minutes in, and the weather is changing to rain. Um, can we grab another few flamingos right now? Let me just check. Greater Flamingo. There you go. Money on the bank account. Let's grab that one. And let's grab that one too. I don't care too much about the stats. Give me those two. And bring them also in here. Love it. Love it. I don't like the rain, but I love the fact we have them in. Okay, cool. What about the axolotl at this point? But yeah, hey, look at that. We got one. A good one. I'm not sure if they need to live together, but we've got one at the moment, so that is fine. I'm going to wait for that. While we wait, we do need to put some things down, which um, are our wonderful, if we have them, oh yeah, we do have them, our educational posts. And this is something I wanted to put here in the middle for all the time, so that is quite something. Okay, I can't, I can't rotate them the way I want it. Can I now? Yes, I can. So I wanted to have one here and i wanted to have another one i mean because he has so much traffic on this spot i thought you know why not why not have more traffic in here right no that's actually that's pretty stupid to put them in in there but what we could do is we could have one with the sounds right over here and you know what's pretty cool about those i didn't know that i, I just did that late on in the in the overview but you can recolor them which I think I'm a big fan of. We make this like flamingo color now, because that is where the flamingo is in. And so we're just gonna do that. And that's the tongue color, which needs to be a bit more like so. There you go. Like that, it looks like a cupcake, but it, you know, that's a flamingo area. We, we should also make the flamingo color more flamingo color, shall we? It's more like this, I guess, apply. There you go. Look, we have the kids doing that. They get a small boost. I love it. It's really good. There's a flamingo running around. My God, I, I just really do admire this. this ch these changes are really great. Okay, but we, we are going to put some of these things down. Um, the paws don't really make much sense anywhere else, but they do make some sense here with the KP Barra. So we're just going to put this one here, uh, somewhere here. It's not really good there. Wait a second. Can I put this in a better place? For you and for me and the entire human race. Okay, sorry, I just, I, I got carried away. Um, <laughs> man, where do I put this thing? There's legit not really that, uh, that's a nice space over here. That's nice, okay. No, that was a nice space, leave me. Um, can I make that paw color? KB Barra-ish color, that's better. And then this color, there you go. And what is that though? Look, it's, they are playing right away. I love the fact they do this. Um, okay, we've, we've done that. Maybe paws are also interesting somewhat here. Oh, that's a nice position. That's a nice position anyways. I want to... Oh, and... Oh, my God. I mean, most likely... There you go. 
most likely in this educational area we have to have a lot of these things so let's put them down facilities and then there are all the other ones as well you can measure how tall you are and you can also have the other one here that's quite lovely that's quite lovely isn't it okay so we've done that um there's also a couple of things we will talk about with the um with our friends here the uh the polar bear we've got to figure out some certain things we have to do with them but yeah how about exhibit can we have another one now we just see uh axolotl is that another one yes adopt do i got two now i got two females but that's okay um there you go and now we got to bring them into wait wait, wait yeah, we just need to no stop it stop it i'm gonna get rid of the frog where's the froggy frog frog is that the frog yeah, that's a frog. Okay, so froggy frog frog, um, you, you did you did me well. You know, you had a good time in here, but I gotta put you back into the trade center, and then we're going to go back to the exhibit trading just one more time. Okay, maybe maybe one more time. Luck? No. There you go. Let's do these two. My God, the traffic over here will be insane. Now we have to make that a little less, and we have to make that a lot more. Is that too high though? 88 percent ah, that's crazy in 18 okay noise um i think we don't have anything for the layout quite yet no we don't okay so ex blah, yeah, we still have the vet research going on uh it's quite insane how much we have going on over here but we still need more uh, and we don't really have more research centers so we gotta have to change that anyhow um how is the overall rating going? I think it's getting better and better over time. The education still is pretty dang shit. Uh, we have to we have to change the toilet. It's getting better. Thirst is getting slowly better. Um, you know, we, we need to also hire more mechanics. I mean, I do so much stuff, but we don't really have enough mechanics, uh, for example. So mechanic research... Uh, no, 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 no. I meant, meant stuff. There you go. Um, let's hire some more mechanics. Because then I can also put down some more vending machines, which is clearly not the solution for everything. It, it, it is somehow, but it's not. <laughs> um, and we're gonna take them all. Six and a half thousand for everyone. Okay, well, that's fine. And now we're just going to go facilities and we are going to go to the guest facilities and we're gonna go to drinks. And now we're gonna put the venting machine, like uh, the venting, the vending machine. I meant <laughs> the venting machine. Yeah, that's that's how I felt with my computer. I needed a venting machine. Oh, cool. Uh, what is this? Spotted protester. What? Why on earth are they protesting? By the way. Um, animal market. No, that's I'm I'm totally wrong over here. Animals, welfare. Yeah. What is that Mason dude doing? Ah, uh, that's again. Sometimes that's the easiest fix you can have. Okay, well that's that's fixed then. Um, let's grab some more drink venting machines. <laughs> We're gonna call them venting machines from now on. That's just what they are. Okay. It's there's there's just there's just no no way back anymore. It's it's happened. That's that's the name now. The venting machine. Okay, there are some. There might be another one. Uh, down here we don't have anything, right? So we can just have another one there. Have another one here. Just putting one everywhere. Jesus, that, that's worse than uh, Disneyland was in 1998. When, when we've been there. <laughs> there was also, it felt like everywhere these things. But uh, yeah. So this is what we do. Just everywhere we're going to get them some drinks. I, I really do hope that this helps uh, spreading out the issue. Okay, but I think we're going to call it a day. There's a couple of things we have to do. Um, but I think for the moment, that's nice. We introduced what we wanted to introduce. We definitely have to see the axolotl real quick in action. Um, just going to do this. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah, the education board is wrong over here. Let me just fix that real quick. Because that is no bullfrog anymore. That is the axolotl. There you go. Can we spot one over here? Is one here? Please be here. We need quite a few of them. Because obviously we need to have them in the front. They're obviously in the back, aren't they? Hello, mates. Where are you? They're kind of harsh, hard to spot sometimes. Um, okay. 
Maybe they are on this side though. There's one. Look at that. There's one. Okay, that's all. Oh, I haven't seen that pattern so far. There are quite a few patterns which I do like. That's like a greenish one or it doesn't... It just seems green because it's in there. But uh, yeah. Look, I like that. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this. I'm a huge fan. Is there someone in the shallow water maybe on the other side? There, I think somewhere over here is the shallow water. Um, uh, uh, no. No. I don't know where the one is. Yeah, okay, but that's what you need to do. You're gonna have to search for them if you want to see them. I also... I, I, it, it is kind of... The, the screen reflection is kind of weird in here. I don't know what we can do about this, but for the moment, not too much, I guess. But I like the lighting right now. The lighting is pretty cool. Can we just pause the... Oh my god, it's so crowded. <laughs> it is so crowded. But I like the fact that this little... Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's swag, guys. That's the swag here with the flamingo. That's it. That's the swag. That's exactly what we, what we wanted to do with this build today. Love it. Love it. Yes. Yes, 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 you are. God, I, I really... I, I'm, I'm a big fan of this area now. Not so much of the crowding here, and obviously they are protesting against me because of... Well, because of them not being super well uh, in, in stress. <laughs> and space? What space problems? Is that, is that because of water now? Hard shelter. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to take care of that somehow. Uh, as long as it's so super crowded in the front here, I might just get rid of them again. But we'll see about that. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in, as always. I really hope you enjoyed this episode today. And we are going to make more with brand new assets from the 1.10 update. And obviously also with the DLC. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye.